New York is now the latest state to legalize the use of medical marijuana. It joins 23 other states, including California and New Jersey, in making medical marijuana legal. Ebru's Derek Dennis is live outside New York City with a look at the pros and cons of the legislation that is sweeping the nation. Derek. Well, that's right. Medical marijuana uh, now becoming the law of the land state by state. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo signing the legislation into law here, uh, even as there's still great debate over whether medical marijuana, uh, and legalizing it at least, is the right thing to do. 81-year-old William Washington can walk to and from the grocery store now without a problem. His heart condition is under control thanks to a combination of prescription medication and medical marijuana. And you could take it to ease your pain. It's great for old folks. I say it'd be wonderful for old folks. Washington suffers from a diseased heart that limits his blood flow to the rest of his body, causing great pain when it's not under control. He says his medical marijuana is a lifesaver. Pain, right. you don't feel. Now you got some heavy pain. Uh, I got the heart. And sometimes if I don't take my medicine, I got all the way up there. And it's painful. And it, you can't walk. I can't walk. I can't remove. This week, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo signed into law medical marijuana legislation, making it legal in the state of New York in a non-smokable form to patients with serious ailments that are recognized by the state on a predetermined list of conditions like cancer, AIDS, and heart disease with monitoring by the State Department of Health. The legislation, I feel confident, gets us the best that medical marijuana has to offer in the most protected, controlled way possible. But opponents say legalizing marijuana is like the state sanctioning drug use and the studies of its benefits are conflicting, leaving doctors like Eric Voth to wonder if medical marijuana has any effect at all. I treat a lot of sick patients with all sorts of different pain and neuropathic disorders and cancer, etc. And I cannot think of one circumstance in 27 years of active practice that I've had to say, well, it's time for you to smoke dope. I just haven't. But tell that to William Washington, able to walk long distances even with a bad heart. He says thanks to medical marijuana, his pain is under control, allowing him and other chronically ill sufferers a new lease on life. The governor of New York signing the legislation into law, even with uh, support from the public and from state lawmakers, though there are some safeguards attached to it. Uh, the governor making sure those safeguards are in place, including his uh, opportunity to cancel the law, to suspend the law if it deems that medical marijuana is proving to be a public health concern. Reporting live outside New York City, I'm Derek Dennis for Ebra News. Welcome back to you. All right, Derek, thank you so much for that.